Hey guys, and welcome to my new movie review for War with Grandpa, aka The War with Grandpa. What, like, why? Why? What is the point of changing the title to, with a the in it? Anyway, whatever. So, straight off the bat, guys, I want to go into why I think that this movie has rewatchability. Okay, I want to I want to go into that. The reason why I want to go into that straight off the bat is simply because of the fact that this. The pranks in this movie really, really, really outlay themselves. Like, really. It's actually really, really clever at how well they've done this movie. The character chemistry, and for those of you who have been following my channel for a new period of time, you guys know that character chemistry, in my personal opinion, is a really, really big deal, especially in a film like this, because you want character chemistry to work really, really well with every part of the family members. And I'm going to talk just really, really quickly right now, guys, about the family members. Guys, what in the world? Uma Thurman? She's 50 years old and she looks like that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Seriously, she looks amazing for her age. Oh my gosh. I 1000% literally in every way, shape or form was watching this movie and I kept thinking to myself literally about Uma Thurman like no way, she has definitely had stuff done to her face. She looks incredible and if she hasn't, then just wow, her genetic gene makeup is on point. Wow. Anyway, guys, I'm going to keep this one really, really short and sweet. The reason why is because I really feel that if you watch this film, honestly, guys, I genuinely mean this, that you're just going to have so much fun with it. It really is one of those movies that you're going to go into the cinema and just purely enjoy. It is just a fun movie. It honestly is. And obviously, I'm going to go into the the character details and all that sort of stuff in a sec. And I know this is a very, very different review to what I normally do. I normally get all that sort of stuff out of the way, the cast, the, the runtime, the rating of the movie. But I just thought I'd do a, a different review this time, guys. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to leave it till a bit later. Guys, one of the things about this movie, as I say, character chemistry about this movie is... This is one of those movies, specifically a Christmas, Christmas movie, that you need to understand as watching it as an audience member that this is the type of movie, as, aside, from, aside from the fact that the incredible, unbelievable character chemistry, but the storyline in which unfolds in front of you, it has to really gel with the audience or else the audience just taps out. Like mentally, we just get lost and we just lose the whole plot of the whole film. In saying that, guys, one of the things that I wasn't a fan of in this movie, unfortunately, and it's just being realistic about this movie, guys, is some of the, in fact, quite a lot in the first act of this movie, I really felt, unfortunately, that the comic elements of this movie dropped the ball. I know, I know, I know. That sucks to hear, but it's the reality of it for me, unfortunately, guys. As I was watching this movie, guys, several times I thought to myself, mm, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, that's not funny, which is really bad in a movie like this, specifically because of the comical elements is really the glue that holds this movie together. In saying that, guys, that's not a terrible part of this movie. In fact, Quite often in this movie where they do pranks towards each other, it's really, really, really well thought out. And not only is it really, really well thought out, as an audience member, we know in a sense what's coming, but they don't unfold it the entire way. So as we're watching this movie, guys, we see what we're in for. And not only do we see what we're in for, the, out, the, you know, the outcome of what we're seeing, what we're in for, outlays in front of us. And it's really, 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 really effective, guys. It really, really is effective, honestly. I honestly recommend this movie to go and see it. But in saying that, I would say don't have high expectations that you're going to be crying laughter throughout the whole film. It's not like that. It's just not. In saying that, guys, it is a good movie. I was, I was genuinely thoroughly impressed with this movie. I was kind of like... In, in the nod state, but that's only because of the fact that I had um, I had to wake up super, super early for work that day, and we watched this movie like really late in the afternoon. But in saying that, guys, I actually enjoyed this movie for what it was. Seriously, 
again, don't have mega high expectations for this movie because it's just not like that, you know what I mean? But in saying that guys, this is a good movie. War with Grandpa is rated PG. The duration of War with Grandpa is one hour and 34 minutes long and it is a comedy, drama, family film. The director of War with Grandpa is Tim Hill and the cast of War with Grandpa is as follows guys. Robert De Niro, who plays the character of Ed, and man, Robert De Niro, far out, he has still got it. Man, does he still have it. Uma Thurman, the incredible Uma Thurman, wow, again, that age, 50, she looks like that, what an absolute stunner. Plays the character of Sally. Now, Rob Regal, who plays the character of Arthur, he's got a very small role in this movie, but in saying that, guys, it's a really, really good role, and some of his lines really holds stern and firm and they're actually really quite funny. We also have Oakes Feckley who plays the character of Peter and he is a real champion in this movie guys. Honestly, I, appla I really did applaud his, his work in this film. We also have Lauren Mureno who plays the character of Maya and she's a very, very good character. We have Cheech Marin who plays the character of Danny. Jane Jane Seymour, who plays the character of Diane. Christopher Walken, yes, the Christopher Walken, who plays the character of Jerry. And guys, a slew of other characters. And guys, I'm just going to quickly roll this synopsis to give you a heads up of what the synopsis is for this movie. Upset that he has to share the room he loves with his grandfather, Peter decides to declare war in an attempt to get it back. So there you have it guys. Guys, those of you who have been following my channel for any period of time, one, I just want to give you an absolute warm thank you so much for being here. Seriously, you guys are amazing. I appreciate your time so much. You have absolutely no idea. And two, again, those of you who have been following my channel for any period of time, you guys know that I really, really love to give you guys trivia at the end of my movie reviews because in my personal opinion trivia is like icing on the cake and who doesn't love cake it was my birthday recently and i ate cake and i've still got it in the fridge yes that's right i still have it in the fridge it was a really big cake guys i appreciate your time and guess what it is it's trivia time the movie had several failed release dates in, including april 21st 2017 october 20th 2017 and february 23rd 2018 that sucks anyway guys next piece of trivia this movie was actually released three years after filming took place next piece of trivia is guys based on the children's book by the same name title by robert kimmel smith next piece of trivia is guys this film has absolutely no connection at all to Dirty Grandpa back in 2016, which also played Robert De Niro. Next piece of trivia is, guys. Guys, this is my final piece of trivia, and I'm going to leave you with this one, and I really appreciate you sticking around. Thank you so much for being here. Uma Thurman and Christopher Walken have both portrayed villains in the Batman universe. Thurman was Poison Ivy in Batman and Robin, 1997 and walking as max shrink in in batman returns 1992 guys i appreciate your time you guys are amazing if you're new to my channel i just want to give you a massive massive warm welcome thank you for being here you guys are absolutely incredible seriously thank you thank you thank you and while you're at it if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe Click that bell for notifications and give my, my, give my reviews a thumbs up. I value it so much. Seriously, guys, thank you again. And don't forget who's bringing this movie review for War with Grandpa or The War with Grandpa. This is Superman Steve, appreciating your time, loving you guys always. Flying out.